It's time for the Manhattan Pizza Post Game Show on the Game Day Broadcast Network. Manhattan Pizza, serving the best dang pizza in town. Now, let's rejoin the broadcast team on the Game Day Broadcast Network. And we welcome you back to our Manhattan Pizza Post Game Report. Andy Hayes alongside George Costa. 85-74 here tonight. The Woodson Cavaliers come into the Hornets' nest and they get it done. George Costa, they took apart the Herndon Hornets, probably unlike any team we'll see in the Northern region. And uh, wow, what a win. Yeah, they sure did. They came in, they played a flawless first half, took a 12 point lead, and then played well enough in that second half to not let Herndon get to within, or almost striking distance. Herndon got it down to a five point deficit with about three minutes left. That's as close as they would get it. W.T. Woodson uh, had to make their foul shots, and this is not a great foul shooting team, but tonight they hit 74% of their free throws, and that was enough to close the door on Herndon. Right. And I tell you what, Michael Hansler tonight, he was incredible. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here from this second half on our game rewind, and I'll tell you what, whenever Herndon was able to pressure bowls and Keep step go away from the bucket, although they couldn't do it right here on this three-pointer. It was Hansler. He was the guy. Yeah. Every single time that would, you know, push this thing even further. As we oh, see Andy some... Stinchel oh, with the monster oh, jam. Oh, oh, oh. That brought the crowd to its feet. You'll see that on the highlight a little bit later. Herndon just could not get close enough. They got it back within six at one point. And then right after that, Hansler and crew came back and pushed it back to ten. I mean, that was the story of the night, wasn't it? It sure was. Now Herndon's full court press, and they pressed the entire fourth quarter, was effective, but not enough. They scored, Herndon scored 30 points in the fourth quarter and only won the quarter by two. Herndon was able to go on a run. Defensively, they were able to get some stops. Ferguson got hot. I think he finished with what, 38? Is that right? 38 points. He was incredible, but it wasn't meant to be tonight for Gary Hall's club. Great run. That guy right there, Tommy Stepka, made some big plays. But there was the man. There's the man. Michael Hansler comes in with the nice tip in there, and he made great plays defensively, offensively here in this ball game. He was tremendous. I mean, he, the difference completely here in this ball game was Michael Hansler. And I'll say that because I thought, you know, he did it all on both sides of the court. Talk about stepping up. The kid averages 6.6 .6 points per game. You get into a crucial, as uh, Stiefka makes that nice three, you get into a crucial game, and he comes up with 23 points. Driving to the basket, making threes, making good passes, and playing great defense. He couldn't ask for a better game. It looked like for a moment in the third and late in the ball game, Herndon would get close. And we kind of felt it. We kind of thought, you know what? This was a turning point right here, that yes. turnover. Yes, Just it was. Maybe. If they could get it within a three-point ball game, Ferguson or Johnson or Oslander would hit something big. They just couldn't do it. Well, what happens is, look at that play by uh, Hansler. What happens is you're under pressure, Herndon was, to make an unlikely shot early in a possession, and they just couldn't do it enough. How did they take apart Herndon early? Because they've been playing – the whole game from a deficit here. What was the key, George? What did they do so well tonight? The defense was flawless. They did not allow any penetration. They were playing a 1-3-1 zone. Offensively, they were very patient. They moved the ball and got a lot of drives to the basket from their guards. And when they couldn't drive, when Herndon dropped back, they hit threes. I mean, you can't do it better. So there you have it. Uh, the highlights here in this one, it was Woodson for four quarters applying the pressure yeah. and they kept it on all the way through so they advance here to the final four in the northern region that game they'll play in the semis on Friday night down at Robinson Secondary School you feel comfortable giving the player of the game to Michael Hansler? I absolutely do it was Me a, too. A, efficiency was was the key to his game well we might have watched the two favorites here in the northern region yeah. here tonight Woodson a very very good basketball team and they have enough to win it all keep an eye here on the Cavaliers and we'd like to thank all of you for watching for my colleague George Calsa Helene Shane our producer Taylor Jensen here on the court David Fitzen also up on the camera 
We'll see you next time here on the Game Day Broadcast Network. Our final score tonight, the Cavaliers, they get the win. 85-74. They move on to the final four in the Northern Region. So long. The Game Day Broadcast Network is proud to present high school basketball live and worldwide online at gamedaymagazine.com. This exclusive broadcast is being powered by Integrated Sports Medicine and Physical Therapy. Manhattan Pizza, now serving Ashburn, South Riding, and Leesburg with the best dang pizza in the world. By Max Muscle Sports Nutrition. Max Muscle, partners in health. By online mental trainer, optimal thinking, champion results. Visit readwrittechnology.com. Phenom Strength and Conditioning, where athletes train to exceed expectations.